So I'm here in my campaign tracker base. Let me rename that properly. There we go. And this is where we manage all of our kind of content and campaigns around launches for specific products. So the first table we have here is our launches table. And these have all the information around pieces of furniture that the product team has prioritized. So I can see we have twist side table, Madrid chair, information. Let me sync that, there we go. So this is a synced table. And this has all of that information that comes from the marketing team. So just a little bit of insight, let's actually go into their base and understand how information ends up here. So what you need to know is that when products go into locked, that's when they're synced to our base. So let's say this Samari bookshelf, the product team has decided that it's going to launch on May 19th. They've decided that date, they move it over to locked. And that's the moment at which that information is synced to our base so that we can start working on that campaign. So I'm gonna go over to campaign tracker, just gonna sync that manually now. And we see that that's a new record in our table. This is the moment at which our workflow begins. And so at this moment, we want to create a notification that tells the team, hey, a new product has been locked. That means our work can begin. Let's go ahead and send a message to Slack that tells us that our work can begin. So if I go over to Slack, I see that that message was just sent. So a new product has been locked. It's called Samari Bookshelf. And I have that link I can click on to go to that product. So that's automation number one. When a new product is prioritized, we send a notification to the team. So we're going to build that together in just a moment. So we're back here. We have launches, campaigns, content pipeline. We're syncing from the same view. And so how do you create your first automation? Our first one is gonna be when that new record is created in the launches table, we want to go ahead and send a Slack message just like we saw a moment ago. So to create an automation, you go to the automations panel in the right of your Airtable base. And here you can kind of create an automation. So remember that every automation is a trigger and then actions, trigger and then actions. So we're gonna create a custom notification. In our first one, we're gonna name it new product launch. We're naming that automation. And then we have to pick our trigger. So triggers are what set the automation in motion. It's what needs to happen for your automation to run. So it could be something in Airtable or creating a record. When a record is updated, when something changes in the record, when a record enters a view, but it could be also something outside of Airtable. So maybe you have a new Google Calendar, a Google Sheet row is created, or you've been scheduled an Outlook calendar invite on your calendar, this can trigger the automation. In our case, you can see that it, we want to trigger on a new record in our table, in our launches table. So let's go ahead and create an automation with the trigger when record created. So first we need to tell Airtable, well, this automation should trigger when a record is created in the launches table. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna click done and that's it. That says when a record is created in the launches table, go ahead and run this automation. And actions are what you want that automation to do. So it could be do something in Airtable like create a record, update a record. It could be something like sending a notification in Slack, an email notification, Microsoft Teams, or it could be update information in another application like Google Calendar, Salesforce, Twitter, Jira. And we're gonna be exploring quite a few of these in just a moment. So in our case, we want to send a Slack message because that is where our team works. So let's select Slack. And now we have kind of full control over what we want this message to say. So first we have to configure which Slack account. We're gonna pick the Four Oaks Fern account. That's where our team lives. And then the channel. 
So in Slack, you have different channels you can communicate to. We want to communicate to the all campaigns channel. That's where our team hangs out. And we're going to say a new product is locked. So I have full control over this message. So it might be very precise, might be very broad. You decide what this message says. And I even want to pull in the information around the product that was just prioritized. So the Samari bookshelf, Nebula chair, I want to bring in the name field of the record that's triggering the automation. So a new product is locked. It's called, and then I can go to step one, select information from previous steps. So I can go into the record that triggered the automation from step one, select that. And then I have all of the fields from that record. So in our case, we want to insert the name. So it's going to say it's called Samari Bookshelf. I'm going to put a little dot after that. And then more information. And I want to insert the URL, the link where a user in Slack can see the URL, click on it, and instantly be brought into that new product so we can start prioritizing campaigns. So again, that's from step one, clicking the plus button, going into the record from step one, and you'll notice that there's the record URL option here at the top. There we go. So now I've configured this message. It says what I want. I can click done. So just recapping here, it says, when a record is created in our launches table, go ahead and send a Slack message. So start thinking on your end as I'm going to run this. Do you have a moment in your workflow that you'd like to send a notification? Maybe it's when a deal closes or when someone submits a form, something that notifies the team or a specific person that that requires their attention. So let me know in the chat and I'll surface the interesting ones. Uh, when in your moment do you want to receive or send a notification? So very important moment here. I'm going to go test this out. Please make sure to always turn on your automations. This is something I forget all the time. So we've turned on this automation that says, when a new record is created in our launches table, go ahead and send a Slack message. So let's go ahead uh, um, and kind of loop here. So we've got product roadmap. This is our uh, putting on our product hat on and saying, okay, did a site table is launching on the 22nd. Let's go ahead and move it into locked, right? So did a site table. Now, if I go over to our here, I'm going to go sync now just so I can pull in that information. There we go. Did a site table is a new record in our table. If I go into run history, that tells me every run that's happened of that specific automation I'm running. I could see that it's run successfully, but nothing beats seeing it with our own eyes. If I move over to Slack, go to all campaigns, I could see that message. It says a new product is locked. It's called data side, data side table. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. And then I can click in to have more information. So we've just created a custom notification that's unique to our workflow that really triggers exactly when we want it to. Some examples from the chat. Uh, send a, a notice of vacancy when a candidate either enters or leaves. Notification to tenants. Um, so you're able to create those custom notifications uh, um, specifically when you want.